Hello everyone and Happy New Year. Jas and I are starting off spending the first few weeks of 2019 in Ireland. Jas is working in Dublin. Hello. I actually, this isn't, this isn't my first video of the year, but I did say in my last one, I'd give you a bit of an explanation in this vlog. So Jas is working on like a project thing in Dublin for like a few months, he doesn't really know. So I'm kind of traveling with him and we're spending like half the week in Dublin where he's working and then Friday to Sunday we are traveling around the rest of Ireland. This is our first weekend here. We got to Galway a couple of days ago and I'm so excited to be here today as our first proper day that we are going out to explore the city. We're staying at a hotel called the Clayton Hotel Galway which is not quite in the city centre but it's about like three miles away or so. Yep. It's not like very far to drive and um, we hired a car as you can see. It's a tiny one and like it's very nippy actually. I haven't driven it yet. I'm not insured mm. but it's kind of the same. It's not exciting driving in Ireland as it is in the US. There I always want to drive because it's a big car, it's a beast, it's the wrong side of the road, it's automatic. This is just like being at home to be honest. It's a manual. It's a little Ford Fiesta that's really nippy it so I'm not really spaces. fussed. What was that? It gets in the tight spaces here, <laughs> even yesterday. <coughs> Yeah, exactly. I feel a little bit sniffly today, which is not good. So let's like hashtag pray for an issue that she doesn't get ill. But we've just got to go away. We found like the perfect parking spot because apparently it's very difficult and expensive to find parking around here. We're parked in a multi-story because we don't know how long we're going to be. And a lot of the things that are on my list of places to visit I've already seen on the drive around here. So they're quite local. So yeah, let's go and explore. Yeah. yeah? Cool. <laughs> Um, brunch. We've got lunch, but it's kind of brunch for us at this vegetarian cafe called the Lighthouse Cafe, and we need a coffee. Oh, yeah. The food was okay. It's a vegetarian cafe. It didn't really blow me away. Did you like it? It's all right. It's, I like. I feel like well. vegan places are better than vegetarian ones because at least they kind of have to try a bit harder. Um, here they just make loads of curries and like <coughs> Indian food and if I wanted Indian I'd just go to an Indian. <laughs> so yeah now we're off to find this tea shop that's basically really cool. I think it's somewhere on the right. <laughs> Needs to watch the brown timer. What teeth did you go for? Dreamy creamy. Dreamy creamy, yeah. So when that, when that timer finishes, um, the teeth's ready again. Guys, I'm in a tea shop and I've actually ordered tea. 
team. Who am I? This never happens to me, but um, the tea sounded really good. It's called Truffle Truffle. It's meant to be quite nutty. It's got like macadamia nuts, a bit of chocolate, and coconut chips in it. But I'm really disappointed because the menu said they do soy milk, but they only have almond, and I hate almond milk because it's ruin the taste of my tea. But I really want a coffee. I thought I'd just try tea here because there's another recommendation I've got for a coffee place down the road that I really want to try afterwards. Place and it is so dark outside. Like, how long were we in there for, Jack? I know. Tea me makes me so sleepy. Like, how do people do it? I need a coffee after that. <laughs> I'm ready for my bed. Basically, you're falling asleep while I'm drinking tea. Yeah, because tea is like hot chocolate for me. I only have tea if I'm like ill, basically. That was really nice tea, actually. It was called Truffle Kerfuffle, and I had it with no milk. But it was very nice. Did you like yours? Yeah, mine was nice. I like it. I don't think oh, you need any just special milk of mine or something like that. Yeah, you could have had milk of mine, but prefer to have it without because I hate almond milk. I think we're going that way. So this is called the long walk. It's probably the wrong time of day to be walking down here. It doesn't seem very long, <laughs> but yeah. And that is basically Galway Town. Hi. Yeah, so here we are. These houses are meant to be colourful, but it's dark, so... Colourful? Not much. <laughs> Look, they are, they're all different colours. There's no colours there. There's not much we can do. So here yeah. we are, yeah. posing for a thumbnail for this vlog, as you do. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the colourful houses down there, Jess. Where? On the left. Let's go for a walk. So, like, this is the famous uh, Spanish arch, one of the things to see in Galway. I have absolutely no idea why it's famous. Do you, Jess? Nope. But yeah, <laughs> it's not very exciting, especially not this time of night. It is a bit of a shame, like because we're here at a bit of a stupid time of year, they don't have the tourist train or the hop on, hop off sightseeing buses. They only run from, what did I say earlier? From March, March until October. October. I can see why, because it's so bloody cold, but um, yeah, this is pretty much Galway, isn't it? Yep. Walk around the whole place today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, parking for about five hours cost us 11 euro. Goy is definitely not cheap. <laughs> yeah, look, Jess. Oh my God, I'll exit up there. It is, be careful, be careful. Um, it is, what time is it? Like coming up to six o'clock, just gone six o'clock. And it is so cold out there. We are heading back to the hotel and we're just going to chill for a little bit and then come back into Galway for dinner maybe in a couple of hours we're not hungry yet oh we can go Bridge Street or Key Street let's go this way this car park's very strange we got really lucky with parking oh, yeah. earlier oh, yeah. we got really lucky with parking earlier we literally got the second parking spot as we walked into the car park like drove into the car park sorry um which meant we didn't have to go like up any floors or round or down any stairs or lifts it was really cool but yeah, anyway, it's been a really fun day in Galway. I just wish it wasn't so cold. Like, I don't think it's been like it isn't freezing, is it? I think I just feel colder because I feel a bit sniffly. But I went to a pharmacy and bought some night nurse for myself, so that's what I'm gonna have tonight. It's so funny because we drove out of the car park at the town center, we ended up driving around like the whole town center and we recognized every single road, which basically means that we've walked around the whole of like Galway city center today. It's not very big, obviously, you can do it in like a few hours. But it's a really cute little place, it's very like lazy and slow, unlike Dublin, which is 
is really nice like it's a nice little getaway and it's really great if you're like a foodie like if you're really into your food even if you're like vegan vegetarian there's so many signs up everywhere like even pubs have like a vegan menu and stuff like that so it's a really great place to come and visit i feel like i would appreciate it a bit more if it was like summer it'd be a lot nicer than we could do like the proper touristy things like the hop on hop off and like walking along the rivers and stuff like that would be really cool as well it's just a little bit cold at the moment and i kind of feel like crap so that doesn't really help we've actually just stopped off at a petrol station because so our hire car just noticed that like one of the tyres needs some air. Do you need change? I don't know, you need a euro. Here we go, a euro. I haven't got any cash on me. I've got cash, just I think it takes only one coin. But... So yeah, he noticed that one of the tyres was like low on air, so we're just like, he's just pumping it up. But um, the drive from Dublin to Galway was about two and a half hours or so. And there's only one service station on the way, which is really weird. Like their service stations are really different here compared to the UK. Cause obviously like when you go on the M1 from like London to Leicester, for example, um, you'd see like loads of services. And I know like the M25 is a bit different cause it's a bit crap, there's only four. But here they literally just have the one that's on the motorway and the rest they call them service stations but you have to like get off the motorway like go all the way into like the city or the county or whatever you're in and it's basically like a really big petrol station which will have like a subway they have like a laundrette inside it's really weird it's just not like services everything is inside like a petrol station but yeah the drive was pretty long to Galway but then again we are traveling from all the way east Dublin to all the way west Galway <laughs> um, we're not going to go to like the cliffs of Moher I think that's what it's called I'm not sure how it's pronounced because it's just too cold to be out like it's so annoying and just like that we're back at our hotel massive back in the hotel room um it's such a mess i'm gonna show you in a second but i've got into bed because it's really cold in this hotel room uh, we've got two beds it's really weird but um that window like there's a really big draft that comes in through that window and it's really annoying and it's very noisy as well because it kind of looks out onto like this dual carriageway slash main road type thing so i need to pull the curtains shut just to like keep the um warmth in a little bit but i'm gonna like go on my laptop um import some of the footage oh here's my camera <laughs> um and see if I took any photos earlier today that I like and maybe upload something on Instagram and I want to try and schedule a video for tomorrow because I uploaded it last night so yeah I'm gonna do a little bit of work until we kind of get hungry I guess and then we'll venture back out into like the city centre and grab some dinner oh my god I feel so ill Jess has just poured me a brandy and we're gonna have some potatoes these crisps that we picked up they're basically just like Walker's crisps, I don't know. This is our hotel room, look at how messy it is. We picked up that multi-pack of Tato's in Tesco yesterday, along with a bottle of brandy, because it is so expensive, like, obviously in hotels, but Jas was ill last week, and he asked for, like, a double shot, and it cost him 15 euro, and for, like, 35 euro, we got 70 CL bottle of brandy, and we got some porridge oats, actually. But yeah, we didn't book um, breakfast in this hotel, because we've been having, like, breakfast in all of in all of Jas's work hotels and the reviews for the breakfast here weren't that great it was quite expensive so all we've been doing is going to like Tesco every night and you know the um like ready-made porridge oats that you just pour boiling water into we've just been buying those and then we bought blueberries and raspberries just to chuck in and that's what we've been doing for our breakfast um every day which is pretty cool and now we're just gonna sit here chill for a bit and then maybe go for dinner Oh, so tired. Guess who fell asleep? I had like, what did I have? Like, not even two sips of my brandy, and um, yeah, it knocked me out. So now we're going for food. <laughs> morning happy sunday i kind of feel a little bit better this morning but i'm not sure i'm really warm and i've got a lot of highlight on my face which looks like a tash but it isn't a tash i had two glasses of like two shots of brandy yesterday and night nurse i know i'm not supposed to mix the two but that's what i did we've just checked out of the hotel just um asked if they could keep our luggage like 
downstairs while we go out and this hotel is really weird they don't have anywhere to like store luggage so we're gonna have to drive around with it which isn't ideal because we have four suitcases and the car's like tiny so it's on display like we have to like put the seats flat yeah it's a little bit annoying i've never heard of a hotel to like not have somewhere for you to store your luggage so i think he's going to figure out what we can do and i'm going to head down and get a coffee because there's a little coffee shop downstairs which is perfect then we're going to figure out what we do and take the day from there we've already had breakfast we like to try and like eat on a budget <laughs> where we can when we're traveling and so we picked up these quick oats and berries from Tesco so that was our breakfast I just love porridge it makes you feel so nice and warm and like snugly inside anyway it's time for me to figure out what we're doing today so let's go we decided to head straight back to Dublin from Galway we didn't hang around we're about halfway there and we stopped at the only service station I think it's the same one that we stopped at on the way through god I can't stop your thing need a bit of a break grab a coffee grab some food it's about I'd say two and a half hours from Dublin to Galway and there's like nothing like en route we did have a look and loads of people asked the same questions online like what is there to do en route but unless you take a bit of a detour like for an hour <laughs> you can go to Kildare which is another place I want to go to Kildare Village that would have been good this weekend actually because January sales it's like Bicester but that's like an hour's detour it's a bit long and Jas found a castle that you could have lunch in mm. but that sounded a bit weird yeah it's a tiny castle anyway it wasn't all that I think the food didn't look like that. Yeah, so we thought we'd just head back to Dublin. By the time we get there, like it'll be about three, four o'clock, we could check into the hotel. Oh my god, I'm trying a Burger King veggie burger. Oh, I didn't know it had cheese in it. Cheese? I hate this fake cheese. Okay, this is like the first time in 10 years or more that I'm getting a veggie burger from Burger King. Um, there wasn't really much choice at these services. That Bakewell place over there to have nothing vegetarian. I hate Subway with a passion. And there's literally Burger King and that's it. <laughs> so yeah, that's got a Subway. Yes. I got one of these. That veggie burger was pretty good actually, not gonna lie. But I'm just gonna end this vlog here because we've got about 45 minutes till we get back to Dublin and then we're just checking into the hotel and just, I don't know what we're doing. So I thought I would end this vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will be back very soon with a cork vlog, right? That's cork. what I Cork. Well, a bottle of cork from the bringing a bottle of wine. <laughs> Alright, I know what you mean. Cork as in the city. Anyway, see you soon. Bye! Bye!